So, all right, Breach, it's that time. Producer Harry informs me that we're on to Cincinnati. I love being on to Cincinnati. Look, you know what is fun about watching the Bengals? Is Hold on, they're... I got I to read this. I, I wrote the whole thing. Uh... I got I to set you up. Okay. The Bengals are now, excuse me, the Bills are now one and four in games not played in Buffalo and or London this year. That's crazy. They've lost to the Jets, Jacks, Pats, and now the now the Bengals. And it's fair to wonder who that team is. But we're not here to bear the Bills breach. We're here to praise the Bengals. And by the way, Joseph Lee Burrow, three and one against Patrick Mahomes lifetime. Now two and oh against Josh Allen. He is the anti-Cowboys. So Breach, I got two questions for you that I scribbled down. Yes. Where was your head? I'll read them both and then you can answer them at your leisure. Number one, where was your head when before half we saw Burrow on the sideline with a bloody index finger on his throwing hand and a wrap on the old calf muscle? And two, I'm going to say it. I think this is a Super Bowl team. Are you with me, sir? I am 1,000% with you. Uh, the fingernail didn't bother me right before halftime, but seeing the little leg wrap on the calf, I will admit that gave me a slight pause because the last thing anyone wants, that is the one thing that could derail this season right now is Burrow aggravating or re-injuring yeah. that calf. I mean, that's what every Bengals fan is afraid of. Anytime he gets sacked, anytime he gets hit, anytime he gets knocked down, you're thinking, please don't let the calf be injured. Get up, Burrow. Hurry up and get up. There was one scramble where he got hit really hard, <laughs> stayed on the ground, and I thought he was hurt, and then he stuck both fingers forward and was, like, first down. But like and Chris Collinsworth, Chris Collinsworth even remarked, he goes, every time Mike, he stinks off like runs like that, Bengals fans freak out. Like, when I heard that, all I could picture was, like, Breach being like, no! <laughs> well, that's and he does the dramatic pause. He literally waited, like, two seconds before <laughs> using, you're like, is he conscious? What is happening? Give me something. Uh, but I will say that I, I think, the Bengals are a bad matchup for the Bills. I, I mm -hmm. think that if you ask the Bills if they would rather play the Bills, uh, if you ask the Bills if they would rather play the Bengals or the Chiefs in the playoffs, I think they might actually pick the Chiefs. And I, because it is NFL is a lot about matchups. Like I think the Bengals would rather pick play the Chiefs over the Ravens. I think the Ravens are a more difficult matchup for the Bengals. That doesn't mean that one team's better than the other. It just means it's a more difficult matchup. And I felt like this game played out like. The playoff game last year where the Bengals offense just came out with their pants on fire, scored a couple a couple touchdowns real quick, and then it just felt like Buffalo was never going to be able to claw their way back into it. I mean, Joe Burrow couldn't miss on those first two drives, and then obviously they kind of slowed down in the second half. But the thing is, you look at what the Bengals have done. They've got to win over the 49ers. They've got to win over the Seahawks. They've got to win now over the Bills. Wilson, you mentioned, they're kind of the anti-Cowboys. They can beat good teams. They do it. They've been doing it regularly. Uh, over the past two seasons. So, yes, the Bengals were my preseason pick to get the Super Bowl along with the Cowboys. Uh, and, and I'm feeling really comfortable now that they have won four in a row and are, are mm. yeah, four in a row in five of their past six. I was on uh, HQ on Friday night and was asked like, one of the questions, like, who, who would be your Super Bowl pick right now? Um, and I said the Bengals. And it's like, they were your Super Bowl pick before the season breach. So it's like, I mean, what kind of what kind of self like like what kind of person are you to pick your team to win the Super Bowl? <laughs> Just begging for it to backfire in your face. Especially after you had the Broncos the year before that, no big deal. Um, but yeah, like I think the thing with the Bengals and the question is, I mean, like are they are, like you almost missed the Super Bowl? Like the playoffs are starting like next week, right? Like the, like this, it feels like the Bengals are starting to really hit their stride in a way that like you are, you kind of wish it was December instead of November uh, just because it'd be later in the season. You'd be closer to the postseason. Burrow's starting to get going. But yeah, I mean, like there's, there's still things they can work out. T Higgins looks awesome. He's back at full health now. Burrow's just completely healthy. And it, it's wild to me that when you look at the Bengals and you start to talk about um, like where they were, and by the way, they're, I think they're still in the basement in the in the uh, in the AFC North, um, but they were one and three on October first after losing to the Tennessee Titans twenty seven to three. That lone win was that Monday Night Football uh, squeaker over the Rams, and then since then, Burrow you know guts it out against the Cardinals, looks really healthy against the Seahawks, gets in the bye, and then beat the 49ers on the road, the Bills at home, like. I mean, the idea that at one and three, looking at their schedule, that they could have possibly been at five and three at this point. I mean, I, I feel like you, it's like the total opposite of the Cowboys five and three. 
you feel like everything is like starting to turn around and going the right direction. And you would be shocked at this point. If the Bengals didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. I, I, I want to say one more thing. Cause you mentioned it, Brinson, you said the Bengals are still in last place. They in fact are in last place. All with four. the five and three record below Wilson's uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, this is the first time since divisional realignment in 2002 that any division has had all of its teams at least two games over 500 after Week Nine, and also as of today, going into the Monday night game, all four AFC North teams would currently be in the playoffs: the Bengals at seven, the Browns at six, Steelers at five, the Ravens at two. Yeah, it's crazy that the realignment, the addition of the playoff game, means that an entire division can get into the playoffs. I will uh, go out on a very thick limb and say that the uh, the Bengals will not finish last in that division. Hey, Wilson, yeah. did you watch College Game Day at all on uh, Saturday? No, I usually watch <laughs> big big noon kickoff. Ah, uh, well, I'm a yeah. I, I just have my Robbie likes the College Game Day theme song, but um, and I and hates Brady Quinn. Uh, but the um, so they had some Alabama fan was front and center for the entire three hours of that show with a gigantic fire mat Canada sign. <laughs> Alabama fan. That's hardcore. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, he was at Alabama for a minute too, I think. They must have some some lingering was he? lingering issues. I think my buddy from Alabama mentioned that. Maybe in like a, a my, He was a at LSU. Role. 